In a recent gum chewing contest, Violet tried to blow the biggest blueberry flavored bubble ever. Every three seconds, she added one piece of gum to her huge bubble. On the graph below, the x-axis represents time in seconds, so this right over here is our x-axis, and the y-axis represents pieces of gum in Violet's bubble, so this is the y-axis right over here. Plot points to show how many pieces of gum were in Violet's bubble after three, six, and nine seconds. So every three seconds, she adds one piece of gum. So let me throw all my, let me let me throw all of my. So what we care is about three seconds, six seconds, and nine seconds. So every three seconds, we know that she adds one piece of gum. So after three seconds, this is zero right over here. We're not going to worry about negative time. So after three seconds, she would have added one piece of gum to her bubble. Now, if three more seconds pass by, she would have added one more. Or now she would have two pieces of gum in her bubble. And then if three more seconds pass by, now we're at nine seconds, she would have added one more piece of gum. And now we're at three total pieces of gum. And notice, the ratio between the pieces of gum and the time that has passed has stayed constant, because she's doing it at a constant rate. One to three is the same ratio as two to six, which is the same ratio as three to nine. So let's check our answer. Very good.